Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. We gather this morning for morning prayer, or lauds, with invitatory, in the third week of Advent on Friday. And we're in the third week of the Psalter also, which puts us on page 1016 for our hymn. Our invitatory again this morning will be Psalm 95. So let us begin. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness when in Mirabah and Massa. They challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. Lord, whose love and humble service bore the weight of human need, who did on the cross forsake and show us mercy's perfect deed? We, your servants, bring the worship, not of voice alone, but heart consecrating to your purpose every gift which you impart. As we worship, grant us vision, till your love's unrevealing light, till the height and depth and greatness dawns upon our human sight. Making known the needs and burdens your compassion bids us bear, stirring us to faithful service your abundant life to share. Called from worship into service, forth in your great name we go, to the child, the youth, the aged, love and living deeds to show. Hope and health, goodwill and comfort, counsel, aid and peace we give, that your children, Lord, in freedom, may your mercy know and live. Our King will come from Zion. The Lord, God is with us, is his mighty name. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. I will wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offense is truly, I know. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done, that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, touch me, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me here rejoicing in gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create in me, O oh God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor, sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, help my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart, you will not spurn. 
In your goodness, show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us <coughs> and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit and heal our troubled conscience, so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit we may proclaim your praise and your glory before all the nations. Our King will come from Zion, the Lord, God is with us, is his mighty name. <clears throat> Wait for the Lord, and he will come to you with his saving power. Let my eyes stream with tears day and night without rest over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people over her incurable womb. If I walk out into the field, look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest forage in a land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O oh Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not. Disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us and break it not. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Wait for the Lord, and he will come to you with his saving power. Eagerly, I watch for the Lord. I wait in joyful hope for the coming of God, my Savior. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He's faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. God, devoted to us as a father, you created us as a sign of your power and elected us your people to show your goodness. Accept the thanks your children offer that all people may enter your courts praising you in song. Eagerly I watch for the Lord. I wait in joyful hope for the coming of God my Savior. A reading from Romans chapter 13. It is now the hour for you to wake from sleep, for our salvation is closer than when we first accepted the faith. The night is far spent, the day draws near. Let us cast off deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The, dawn, the Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. You will see his glory within you. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Let everything within you watch and wait for the Lord our God draws near. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. 
He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let everything within you watch and wait for the Lord our God draws near. To the Lord Jesus Christ, judge of the living and the dead, let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you came to save sinners. Protect us in times of temptation. Come, Lord Jesus. You will come in glory to be our judge. Show us, show in us your power to save. Come, Lord Jesus. Help us to keep the precepts of your law within the strength of the Spirit and to look forward in love to your coming. Come, Lord Jesus. You are praised throughout the ages. In your mercy, help us to live devoutly and temperately in this life as we wait in joyful hope for the revelation of your glory. Come, Lord Jesus. Let us again offer our praise to God and pray in the words of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we, who are weighed down from, from old by slavery beneath the yoke of sin, may be set free by the newness of the long-awaited nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.